Hey, hey, you, you want to talk about furniture? I'm going to tell you how to get some cheap stuff. So I'm excited. I have never done a lot before in this capacity. So this is really fun. My name is Lisa. I'm an author, a speaker, and a coach and mom to seven gorgeous kids. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how we have been furnishing our home here in Southwest Florida on the cheap. Oh my gosh, are people watching? If you are watching, will you hit me up with a comment so I know that you're here and I'm not just speaking to air <laughs> or to my computer? All right, so if you've been following our story, we you know that we have moved from Toronto, Canada, where they just experienced an ice storm to sunny Southwest Florida. I don't know if you can like, this is not a filter. Like that is, see that? <laughs> not a filter. This is sunshine. Um, it is so beautiful here and I am so, so grateful. It's super weird. We're doing, um, there's like a Christmas like pageant type thing. Um, uh, like in my town, uh, that we're going to attend after this, um, live. And, um, it is so weird to do Christmas, but like where it's hot. <laughs> It's like hot. Like I almost feel like I have to turn on my air conditioning. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you how we have been furnishing our home um, on the cheap. We decided to sell everything we owned. I have a video that I guess I can link for you in the cards after it's live. Um, uh, but where I shared how we sold everything like literally everything, almost everything. We um, The only things we brought down here were things that would fit in a six by 12 trailer. And then when we got down here, we wanted to see if we could do things, you know, really economically because it's US dollar. Um, we had a lot of costs that were incurred uh, upon closing of a home, which is normal. Um, but we wanted to see what we could do in terms of um, furnishing a home um, in a very inexpensive manner. And one of the really interesting things that is so different about Florida than Toronto, um, and let me know in the comments if um, you also enjoy shopping secondhand or enjoy scoring amazing deals. And if you too are one to like always go for um, the thrill of the find, I guess. Uh, one really different thing about Southwest Florida to Toronto is the second hand marketplace is like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's not like bad stuff <laughs> that, you know, people don't want. I don't know if it's because I live in the Naples area. And so um, it's a lot of like high end um, people who then donate their stuff and they're not really concerned about reselling it. So they just donate places. I'm not really sure because Toronto had a lot of, um, you know, high end, high income, um, a high income population. So you would think that it would be similar. I'm not really sure, but there is something about my little pocket of Southwest Florida where um, things are just like next to free. So I want to show you some things that we have purchased. I think we'll play a little game. If you have questions, feel free to put it in the chat. That's one of the um, fun things of doing this live. I love going live. And if you're watching live, let me know um, where you are tuning in from and let me know the best deal you have ever scored on a piece of furniture, whether it be new, whether it be secondhand or what have you, let me know your most favorite deal and a welcome to anyone watching on the replay. Okay. I think we're going to play a little game. I'm going to basically show you the pieces. I'm going to take my computer along with me um, and show you uh, some of the pieces that we got secondhand and we can play a little game. Um, side note, my house is not clean. It is just it is what it is. Pretty sure there's, yeah, it, it is what it is. Okay, let's start here in my office. So this is like going to end up being um, office slash occasional guest room. And so let's start with the sofa behind me. So I can't really turn the camera around. So you're going to be like this. So here we go. What do you want to, oh, diaper. <laughs> it's clean, I promise. Any guesses in the chat? what I paid for this. Put in the comments, if you're watching this not live, 
what do you think I paid for this sofa? It is from Haverty's, which is like a fairly popular line here in Southwest Florida. Um, just take, take a guess. Take a guess. Guesses under a hundred bucks, over a hundred bucks. This bad boy behind me, 50 bucks. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $50. I love so many things about it. I love the elegant shape. We had this in the living room. Oh my gosh, see, Cora guessed $300. Uh-uh, 50 bucks. We had this in my living room for a while, and then, um, which I'll show you later. Oh, and don't forget to tune in next week for my full reveal. I'm going to finally reveal um, my full kitchen living room kitchen eating area. Um, so you want to make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to come back next week and see this. So this behind me was $50. I got this off of a adorable gentleman um, uh, in what part of, of, of Florida was he? Cape Coral, I want to say. So just north of Naples. And he was so cute. He was like, I'm handling this move by myself. I just got a hip replacement and my wife has got a knee replacement. He was the cutest, cutest man. Okay. So that was a $50 sofa. I mean, come on, winning. All right. Side tables. Okay. So these cute little side tables, they've got a drawer. Um, I've got a pair of them. Same thing. Any guesses on what those cost me? Those were also a <laughs> Facebook marketplace find for $20 a side table. So, so far in this room, we are up to $90. Sofa was 50, side tables were 20 a piece. Let's come on over here. I feel like Vanna White, you know what I mean? So this is probably my favorite piece in this room that was purchased on the cheap. Um, and here is what it looks like. So it's my coffee table. It's got like nice functional drawers and I love the rustic, you know, type feel. It's got wheels. I had to make sure they locked <laughs> because I was like, my children are gonna turn this into a game. Um, so I had to make sure it locked. Guesses, take a guess. Let me know in the comments what you think this cost me. Honestly, this is probably the best deal out of all of them. <clears throat> I honestly don't even want to tell you because the value on that is ridiculous. Like I, I actually don't, I could, I could probably like hunt around and find out where it was originally from 50 bucks. Again, I don't know what it is about Southwest Florida. This was another Facebook marketplace for $50. These chairs behind me were $10 a pop and they have like virtually any, like no damages on them, um, which makes me so happy. These bookcases, which are not styled at all, I really need to style them. I love styling bookcases. P.S. If you followed my work from Toronto, you know how much I'm obsessed with styling <laughs> bookcases. Um, so these were twenty dollars a bookcase from somebody in town. I traveled probably like half a mile. I don't know, not even half a mile to go get them um, and put them in my massive passenger van. So these were twenty bucks a pop. And then these drapes were from home um, or from Toronto. These came with me. These used to be in my, I want to say master bedroom. Um, and then this carpet, this carpet. Oh, and there's my daughter. <laughs> she is priceless. <laughs> but this carpet, this is honestly, oh my word. I love this carpet. So I, um, obviously I can't link to any of the other products because they were all secondhand, but anything I can link to, I will put below in the comments. Um, this carpet, let's again, let's just play the guessing game. This is like an eight by 10 ish. I want to say it's probably actually even bigger. I can't remember exactly. I'll link it below after. Um, but again, I just like cannot believe what this cost me here. So this is a non, it's not a wool rug. Normally I would insist on wool, but again, budget. Um, wool I just love because it's like, um, what do you call it? Natural fiber. It wicks away all kinds of things. And it's just sort of better for you. Like Polyester definitely um, has an off-gassing um, component to it. So anyways, when when I can, I prefer to do wool. Um, but this gorgeous rug on Amazon, I want to say was, I can't remember exactly how much, but I want to say it was $200. Like that's pretty decent. And this beautiful chair <laughs> was free. Free. We got a set of six of these gorgeous chairs 
completely for free. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. And then my desk, which probably won't be able to show up well because it's like backlit, is a cost plus world market find that we got at the black market, um, black market, not black market, black Friday, <laughs> black Friday sale. So all in all in this room, my front office slash guest room, let me tally it up. $40 for the sofa, or sorry, $50 for the sofa, $40 for the two side chairs, so we're at $90, $50 for the coffee table, which brings me to $140, $40 for my bookshelf, so $180, um, three chairs, um, $200-ish Amazon rugs, so that's, oh my gosh, can I do mental math, $380, right? Yeah, $180 plus $200 is $380, I'm pretty sure. Drapes cost nothing because they were from Toronto. We brought a curtain rod from Toronto, um, which cost nothing. My cost plus world market Black Friday extravaganza sale was, this was no more than $200. So we are now up to $580, almost all in for this whole room. Oh, and then $20, these chairs behind me. And again, Rose is priceless. <laughs> so I honestly... How do I explain my thoughts on this? In Toronto, when I would shop secondhand, I would feel like this is not worth the time. Okay, so come here, you wanna sit with me? Mm -hmm. I would feel like this is not worth the time mm -hmm. um, because it would be significant, you know, and driving around like all these places um, sometimes. And then what I found about the secondhand, you know, marketplace is sometimes you show up places and they don't. Um, you know, people either have already sold the product, so then you've wasted a trip out there, or they want to haggle when you're there or whatever. Like, I just find sometimes it's a lot of time invested. But for some reason, down here, <laughs> down here, it's not, I just find it simple. Like, people are fairly, I, I've had not had one single bad experience with somebody being like, no that's not enough money or that's not what we agreed upon. Like people are fairly true to their word um, and consistent. And the products have been fairly um, like in line with how they're described. So when people say it's in good condition, some scratches or whatever, they seem to be in line. Um, honestly, there wasn't really anything about any of the products that I've purchased where I was like, Oh man, like, you know, that that's like not really like I paid too much for it. Didn't really feel that way. Uh, do you want to come for a peek at my living room? Do you? Yeah? Let me know in the comments if you want to come for a peek. And let me know if you're just tuning in. A yes. big warm hello. Hi, Cora. Um, what is your like the, the, the best thing you've ever scored? Like just in terms of a cheap furniture piece, whether that be secondhand or something you got on sale. Okay, we're going to go show them the living room. So... If you've been following my blog, and I'll put a link in the comments below after I go live, um, you know that I did my living room, thank you, Rose, and my dining room, uh, sorry, not my dining room, my living room and my kitchen as part of the one room challenge. So in six weeks, um, I renovated my space. So I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to show you some of the pieces we got secondhand. You'll have to come back next week and hit that subscribe button um, to, oh, I don't want to show you too much, <laughs> uh, to see the final reveal. But what I want to share with you are these chairs. Oh my word, it is a mess. These chairs behind me were $8.99. Like, can we just celebrate that for a minute? Rose, how much were these chairs? Uh, $8.99. $8.99. That's $9 a chair from Goodwill. Like, from Goodwill. From my local Goodwill. <laughs> I honestly, like, and they are in perfect condition. I did have to, they smelled a little bit like, what did they smell like, Rose? They smelled just like old, I want to say, and like musty. Um, and so all I did was took a, um, steam cleaner to them and now they smell fresh and so clean, clean. And they are honestly in perfect, like, I can't, I can't get over, like they're in perfect, perfect condition. So those were $9. And then let me show you some other fun things that we did without giving too much away. Um, Okay, let me talk about my backsplash here. Okay, so 
I really wanted to do a backsplash and the original tile that I picked. Um, so hold on, let me back it up real quick. We didn't put in a backsplash for the builder. And if you were interested in how to strategically work with a builder to um, maximize your budget, let me know in the comments because, oh boy, do I have all the opinions. <laughs> because what they wanted to charge me through the builder was a lot of money for really basic you know, backsplash. There are some advantages of doing it through the builder because it's done. But I knew I wanted something kind of fancy um, and they didn't really have it. And then when I priced it out, it was just so much money, more money than I was prepared to spend at this time. So instead, this is stick on, like it's a sticker. <laughs> it is a full on vinyl, wipeable, washable, like look, you can wash off. That was just like a bit of an oil junk from I think bacon. Um, and you can, you can wipe it, like you can wash it. And this ended up being, I want to say, and I will put it below in the, um, in the comments this is an amazon purchase and i'm almost positive it was under a hundred dollars from my entire kitchen hello and then finally i think the last thing i want to share with you is this table now again you got to come back next week to see the full reveal but this table is a replica of a very famous um, iconic furniture piece. Okay. This is the, um, Saarinen. Um, it's a replica of the Saarinen. Uh, Oh, what is this table called? The tulip table. Anyways, this, I also got off of Facebook marketplace for, um, $350. Now this is probably a little bit more expensive on the used furniture end, but I really just, all the chairs are pushed back because I, I made my kids sweep. Um, so that's why all the chairs haven't been pushed back, but this was like a, one of my favorite. Oh, Rose, what are you doing? Oh, my daughter, junior designer. <laughs> but, um, this is a, I love this piece. I love the modern element. Um, and it was one of the first purchases I made to be honest, um, because I really did want something that was kind of fun and fancy and, um, you know, if I could afford the original, then I probably would. Um, but the uh, replica ain't, ain't bad. So those are my fun and frugal, um, cheap <laughs> furniture items that I found here in Southwest Florida. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget, next week is the countdown for my, thank you, Rose for my big reveal of my living room, um, kitchen, and eating area here at my new home, hashtag Cast the Canning, if you wanna check it out on Instagram, it's just my name, at Lisa Canning, um, to see some sneak peeks. And you can see pictures on the blog, but it's way more fun to do a video tour. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and cheers to designing your beautiful life. Do you wanna say bye? Bye-bye. <laughs>